And we go green then, good start from O'Donovan off the front row of the grid, not bad from Ovenden. Toehill doesn't get set away so well. Ovenden goes Joker early doors then, he gets that out of the way. Likewise, Andy Scott going into there as well. So it's O'Donovan that leads out of Chess and Strift then, closely followed by Derek Toehill, then comes Steve Hill in third position. Then there's a fair bit of a gap to the two drivers which jokered of O'Donovan and Andy Scott coming through the left-hander of the Devil's Elbow for the first time and up Harry Hill. O'Donovan with a great start already going on the defensive as Toehill tries to challenge. Coming into the north bend is an opportunity going to present itself maybe on corner exit. They're very close indeed as they come down the bottom of the hill but O'Donovan has got the measure of Toehill for now. The contact between these two in one of the early qualification races today. So they've already run body panels and they're running wheel to wheel in semi-final number two and Derek Toehill dived into Pilgrims at the second time of asking so he didn't want to look at the rear wing too much longer. That means he will lose out to Tristan Ovenden on the Joker lap merge and Andy Scott or will he? Andy Scott is side by side with Derek Toehill. It's Scotland versus Republic of Ireland down Dover slope into the Devil's Elbow and Scott gets the move done. That lap one joker working well. Brilliant for Andy Scott there getting that job done and dusted it very nicely indeed. Side by side they come up the top of the hill into the right hand and we go. Scott on the inside contact with Derek Toehill through there. That's not going to be an easy thing for them to do and a bit of body work now rubbing on the back of Andy Scott's rear wing, a uh, rear wheel rather I should say. It's going to be the rear bumper that's rubbing on that and that could potentially cause uh, a bit of a problem there for Andy Scott if it causes the tyre to start delaminating. Let's wait and see what happens there. Scott, meanwhile, continuing on, but not the way he'll, he would have wanted. We can see on the outside from our commentary position that, uh, sadly, Steve Hill has stopped on the outside of Chesson's Drift, so it now does bring it down to a four-driver battle then as Derek Toe get, Toe Hill gets in all sorts of sideways through the Devil's Elbow. Very out of sorts there for Derek. A rare mistake at the Devil's Elbow. Tristan Upton second. Scott still third. He'll be hoping that rear left Cooper tyre can survive the remaining laps. We're only at about half distance and his battle scar 208 missing its rear light cover is still in third. And now we've lost Steve Hills again. Joker laps playing out with Ollie O'Donovan into the longer route. Ollie O'Donovan goes then into the Joker and that's going to be Tristan Ovenden who can get through and also Andy Scott there as well. So O'Donovan, despite having the lead in this race, just hasn't had the pace. It's been the same story all day. Yeah, overdriving on Saturday. Thought he was going to do some changes today. It just doesn't seem to be working. And Tristan Ovenden on home turf is leading Andy Scott. Scott shows his nose at the North Bend hairpin. But it's the local man from near Canterbury who leads down Harry Hill. Side by side, they're about to go down Harry Hill. In towards Madden Ben we go. Scott with the inside line. He's going to go way too late to the brakes. There's very big overshoot there from Andy Scott. But he manages to get it all gathered up. Brilliant driving from the Scotsman then. Over the timing line we go to start the penultimate lap. And it's Andy Scott, the number 26, with the advantage ahead of Tristan Ovenden then. This is getting very elbows out. And of course, it's crucial where they finish in this race as to where they start the final later on today. That's exactly it. It's, it really is the qualifying race for the final. You want to be on the front row. Tristan Upton wants that front row start back. But Andy Scott, who sat out most of the morning session, just back for Q3 in time just to qualify for this race. And he is now leading Tristan Upton, Ollie O'Donovan and Derek Tohill, who Derek made that mistake at the elbow, but has stayed on the train. Certainly has. So over the timing line, they're about to come to start their final lap then here for semi-final two in the supercars. It is still advantage. Andy Scott followed by Tristan Ovenden. You know the local man, though, in second position is going to try everything he can. He's really closing up onto the back of Scott through the second part of Cheston's Drift. Down the Dover slope they come and in towards the Devil's Elbow then for the final time of asking. And is Ovenden going to have anything in the locker to find his way through on Andy Scott? Well, he's lost a bit of drive and he's running a bit quiet. Meanwhile, in the background there, side by side as well between Toehill and O'Donovan, Toehill getting himself ahead and up into P3 then, so O'Donovan's race goes from bad to worse as he drops down now into fourth position. Not ideal for the Irishman as the race leader comes down into the final corner and ready to come over the timing line and claim the chequered flag. It's Andy Scott who wins semi-final two.